really do appreciate it. And the suggestion that you sent to me to make the call is Millis Mills Mill. Millis Transport. Yeah, Millis Transport. Now, my guy over at Trucking Answers did uh, did a segment on Millis Transport, and he actually said that the company is doing it better. So, the princess, she want to know about Millis. I guess I want to know about Millis. You guys want to know about Millis, right? Let's find out what Millis got to offer. But before I get into that, make sure you guys download Driver Pulse. It's the truck driver's guide to getting that job that you want. Driver Pulse. Make sure you get it. I don't have to go into detail. I think I went into details too many times. Man, I don't know. I don't know what they say. It is the polar vortex going on right now. Crazy, right? Right? Well, right now, I got some time. And you guys want to know what I'm about to do? Y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm, I'm about to make that call. Who I'm going to call? I'm going to call Millis Transfer. And this is a subscriber request. As always, welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. So, without further ado, before I get into it, don't forget to download Driver Pulse. It's the driver's hand guide to get in that job. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into this call, man. Let's do it. Call Millis Transfer. Sorry, who do you want to call? I guess that didn't work. Good afternoon, Millis Transfer. Hey, good afternoon. How you doing today? Um, trying to stay warm. How are you? Yeah, I, I I feel it, man. Y'all y'all getting it up there yet? Yeah, yeah, it's bad enough. <laughs> I hear you. Um, all right, my name's uh, Lashawn, and uh, you know I'm you know I'm in a Facebook group on uh, Facebook, and it's a trucking group that I'm that I'm a part of, and um, and Millis was the topic of our conversation today. So I okay. thought I I thought I'd give you guys a call to uh find out a little bit more about the company. You you mind answering uh talking to me about the company so I can take back and sure, not a problem. and uh give uh give it get the information back to the people that's in my group. You bet, yeah. Where All are you right. from, sir? All right, I'm from Ohio. Ohio? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Um I looked on the on the website. You you guys got some pretty good uh incentives going on the website, man. Um are you do you guys do uh CDL training? You you guys uh have a have do you guys go by a school or do you guys yeah, we, uh we no no we have our own school. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's in Hamilton, Ohio. Mhm. Mm and we take the starts once a month and we take six students. Okay. Six students. Okay. So it's a, it's a small school and it's kind of an elite school. Okay. So this is this is nothing like other companies that that gathers like 30 people and is No. Okay. No, uh, not at all. No. Well, we have we have a school in Wisconsin. We have one in Ohio. We have one in uh, Georgia and Texas. So I mean, we still have, um, but they're all limited to six students per class. Okay. And they only do, Georgia's the only one that does a class twice a month, but the rest of them all just once a month. Okay, okay. Keep it small and keep it small and tight. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would the, the, uh, the, the candidates that, that goes to the school, are, are they, uh, are they, uh, flown in, uh, bust in, uh, no, most of them, uh, uh, most of them will, uh, if they're not too far away, some of them have flown, but most of them will drive, 
uh, we take care of the hotel. So once they get there, um, uh, Melissa, they have a room ready for them. Melissa uh, pays for the room as long as they're okay with sharing with one other student. And then the school lasts for three weeks, so it's Monday through Friday. And uh, then it's followed by orientation, so they have two days of orientation. And then uh, it's followed by five to eight weeks of training, paid one-on-one -on -one training. All right. Uh, sticking with the school, what, what would be the obligations for them if they was to get past everything? What, then, you know, they'll come on board. What would be the obligation to... Well, the school itself has a tuition, so that's a paid tuition, and they um, do a weekly payroll deduction for much a lot of it. Um, but the training portion is a separate contract, and that is a 12-month contract. So by the time they're done with the training, they have about 10 months left on their contract. Um, and all that it does is it states that they'll stay with us for 12 months if they should happen to leave, you know, go buy their own truck or whatever then uh, we do reserve the right to charge up to an additional 2500 for the training part of the program. Okay. Okay. So the school so so the train so it's all it's all like bought, uh, gathered in. Millets don't pay for the for the school itself per se. Not the school. No. No, not the school. Because I, you know with um uh, 3 weeks of school if they stay in the hotel pretty much covering their hotel costs, but um, the cost of the school itself, the tuition is twenty three forty, mm -hmm. unless they have military background. And if they have military background, then the re tuition is reduced to $1,000. And then Millis finances eighteen forty for the non-military student. They'll finance 500 for the military student. So both of those have a $500 difference and that's what they call the deposits, and that's their upfront money. They have to pay that by the first day of school. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so the training, the training part when you go out with with a trainer with Millis, uh, that's, that's the that's, so that's the contract. Consider. Yeah, that's the forty-three cents a mile that they earn while they're out with the trainer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, all right. Uh, and you say the obligation is what, 10 months or? It's a 12-month contract, but by the time it starts right after school ends, when they get their hire date. So mm -hmm. by the time they're done with training, they have about 10 months left on it. All right, well, let's, uh, let's jump on to the uh, experience uh, people then. What's, uh, other, okay. than, other than Ohio, what's the higher areas? Uh, well, you're looking at Midwest Regional, which is Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, basically. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, Southeast Regional, which is Georgia, Northeast Corner, Alabama, part of Tennessee, uh, wow. part most of North Carolina and South Carolina. <laughs> and then you, we have what we call East of the Mississippi OTR, because 95% of our freight is East of the Mississippi okay. River. Okay. Um, you mentioned the Midwest region. Um, would that include Minnesota as well, or no? Only around the Minneapolis area. We don't go um, too far over the river. And we do have a customer in St. Louis, too, so it's not strictly east of the Mississippi River, but it's very close. All right. So the two regionals. So let's say, well, I'm, I'm from Ohio. Right, so if I okay. if I if I want to do the re, uh, to do the regionals, I I can, would I be subjected to just doing Midwest? Can I do Southeast as well, or do I got to choose no, between to, the two? You have to you have to live down in the Southeast to to do Southeast regional. Okay, all right. Well, what if I? Where do you live at? Where do you live at in Ohio? Uh, I'm I'm from Cleveland. I'm from Cleveland. Yes. And that's more of our east of the Mississippi OTR. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't. So I wouldn't qualify for even the Midwest. No, because you're too far north. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Is it, the line goes from um, about? Uh, well, there really isn't a highway down there. If you go from Fremont down to Columbus. Mm hmm. That's a, that's about where we can start hiring our our Midwest 
regionals. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, uh, so the main terminal is located up in Wisconsin, right? Uh, corporate office is in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Yes. And we have a terminal in Richfield over by Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. And then the one in Ohio is in Hamilton, which is just north of Cincinnati. Okay. So the closer, closer you are to the Hamilton area, the, the better runs you have for your Midwest regional. And that's why they don't like to go too far up. Oh, okay. North with that. That's understandable. That's understandable. All right. Is there a sign? -up? Well, I read on your on your on your page. I believe there is, but you probably can confirm it. But is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much is it, and how is it paid out? Mm, well, if you're doing per diem, the sign-on bonus is one thousand dollars, and then what they do is they put two hundred and fifty on your Com Data card after your first load's delivered, so that's the first payment on it. Mm -hmm. And then at four months, eight months, and a year, you get another two fifty on your check, so it adds up to a thousand dollars. Oh, okay, but it all is is all paid out within that first year. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you mentioned per diem, so you guys do offer it, but is it mandatory? No, you can choose straight pay if you want. Okay. You sound like a recruiter from another company. Are you sure you're not fishing for information? No, I no, I'm I'm a driver. I I am a driver okay. recruiter, yes, but I I am predominant okay. predominantly a driver. <laughs> okay. And I, you know, I you I have some good questions. Yeah, I I speak for I speak for a lot of other drivers that 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 ask me to you know to to you know call the companies that they're interested in. So like I said, you know, we, you know, doing the Facebook group, the topic was this week's topic was Millis and okay. we and we was talking about that and uh and uh and a driver was really interested in coming on board. So, you gotcha. know, she she was like, "Well, maybe we could give them a call and see what they're about and I could see if I can if I'm still interested in it." So, but I'm also okay. interested in it as well because like I said, when I went you on are. when I went on the website I mean, you you guys got some real good, you guys got some real good, um, got some real good points on the website, especially with your dare to compare uh, incentive that you guys got going on the website as well. Um, yeah, they just uh, they just raised the weekly performance bonus too, which is awesome. Okay, okay. Yeah, so if you're an OTR driver, and hang on, I'll just give you a little idea here. Mm -hmm. If you're an OTR driver and you choose per diem, right. uh, <clears throat> it's a little different than other companies do their per diem. Uh, you get uh, so much per mile, your cents per mile, your base rate, but then you get a weekly performance bonus of three, seven, or eight cents more, depending upon how far you go. So. Two thousand miles will get you three cents, but twenty-four will get you seven. Oh, okay. And if, if, an OTR driver, if they can't do twenty-four hundred miles, there's something wrong with them. <laughs> you know, right? Uh, <laughs> um, I used to drive. I used to drive, so I know. Okay, okay. Do you uh, do you guys require hair uh, hair follicle tests for pre-employment drug screening? Uh, not yet. No. Uh, oh, not yet. But y'all y'all planning on it? Well, I don't know. You know, the way things change all the time. But oh, so okay. Far, no. Uh, right now, so it's still urine, urine tests. Correct. Yep. All right. So I, uh, I have a gentleman in in the group. He's he's a felon. Uh, he's coming off of about I say about sixteen years. Um, what what's you guys' uh, policies on felons? Well, a felony has to be over five years old. Now, if he's been in there 15, I'm going to guess the felony was over five years. Um, the other thing that we have to be careful about is we have to have a three-year work history. So if he got out four years ago and he's been, you know, if he's been steady working at McDonald's, that's great. You know, he's going to have a job. But even with non-felons, they're very particular about work history. So you want to make sure that your, work, your last three years' work history is good. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we already. Certain things. I mean, everything gets reviewed 
by the director and, and you know on an individual basis there's right. certain things that can't be allowed I mean if somebody was in for stealing a semi there's no way we could hire them you exactly know? exactly yeah. uh, what about uh now you mentioned orientation in our in our beginning of conversation um, so for orientation for experience or uh, non-experience, what, where's the orientation held at and what's the, uh, how, how can I say this, how can I put this, uh, how many years you guys require for, you know, to come in as an experienced driver? Uh, and again, the the uh, applications are looked on each one individually. So they look at your location where you live, mm -hmm. uh, your MVR, your driving record. Uh, they want for experienced drivers. They want at least six months with a clean driving record, no incidents. Um, if there's anything on it, then we have to wait till you have a year of experience. Okay. Uh, for the for the experience for the experienced drivers that has like six months and let's say they did not do they they didn't do no driving with a company would they go out with a trainer? Uh, no, we have to have six months semi driving experience. Okay, so. I guess what I'm saying yeah. is, I, I, let, I, I, well, let me rephrase that. Uh, how about, I, I know you mentioned about your own school, but how about uh, drivers that come out of outside schools, outside of no, your school? We, we used to be able to, but now that we've um, kind of tightened up the classes with only six students, we can't do that anymore. We need, we, we have so many students. We're, we're booked out till March now already for our schools. Wow. So, and we need our trainers for our students. Okay. Okay. So let's say somebody graduated from from a community college. A tech, right? It, it would be hard for them to come straight into you guys. Yeah. No, they would have to. But there's other places, and I hate to push them out to different places. But there are a couple of really good companies out of Indianapolis that'll take some of those students. Mm -hmm. Um, because I know I was one of them. Okay. Uh, so um, they can get their experience with another company that's close by, and then. And you know, once they have that six months in, then they can go switch ahead switch over and come over call. to you we guys. Can, okay. Yeah. How? Uh, what's the? Um, all right. So, let's see. We went over orientation. Do you do you get paid for orientation? You said it's three days, but do you do you get paid the for students those? Don't, the students don't, but the experienced drivers do. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So the experienced drivers get a hundred dollars per day. Usually, it's about a two and a half day orientation so i believe they give them 300 just top it off round it up whatever okay so and that goes right on their com data card right away so they've got some money to to get rolling with in case they you know get home and or need to get home and and take a day off to do whatever get their trucks ready okay cool now you say the now your own students they they go out for uh, 12 weeks of training with, with a trainer? No, five, five to eight. It usually takes about five to eight. Now, there have been some students that it's taken a little bit longer with uh, because we just, you know, if there's potential there, we don't want to let them go without right. giving them a chance. But, right. um, you know, most of them get it and, and get that 15, they got to have 15,000 miles in with the trainer. And the trainer's got to feel good about letting him go. Of course, they, they do a little road test for us. And, gotcha. And the student himself has to be feel confident about going out by himself. So. Now, I'm assuming you guys. But, I'm assuming you guys trainers have have more than six months of training up under their belts. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Now they, um, <clears throat> most of them. Most of them have been with us for. I'll bet you over five years. Oh, very good. Uh, you know, because some some companies that uh, I have talked with in the past, you know, they 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 driver trainers is like six months, and then you gotta wait like ages for one of them to become available. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we that's one of the reasons that we're careful about only having six students, so we have enough trainers to cover. Cover them. Oh, okay. Um, it just brought up another point, and I hate to bring up another company, but mm -hmm. um, companies like Pam, they'll put two students in together to train each other. 
And yeah, that is the stupidest thing I've yeah, ever heard. That's of. that's not. Yeah, I, I we we was talking about that too because it was one of the young ladies that was in in our group, and she mentioned that she went out with uh, a company called Covenant, and they had two. Uh, she had you know she had another dr uh, driver, and a trainer, and I was like, okay, how that works, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, that that would scare the heck out of me. So yeah, There's that's no way I'd want a trainee training me. That's but, a that's a que that's a future question that I should ask. Uh, that I should ask. So thank you for bringing up that point. I have to write that down. Uh, the the uh, the the train uh, or well all together after after the training are they for are are they forced to team after their training or they can go solo. Oh, uh, you mean in the in the trainer's truck? Uh, well, I'm assuming in the trainer's truck they they they're going to team, uh, team drive anyway to see how good they can they can match. But after they uh, get I mean, some of our some of our trainers won't do that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, because they don't. They, they but they can run like a super solo, you okay. know, where the student would run his eight hours, 10, hours in right. the day, and it had the the and trainer the trainer could hop in and drive another three oh, okay. so that they shut down for eight. Okay. Now there's there's some trainers that, you know, if as long as they're confident in the student and the student's okay with it, they'll run like teams for maybe the last three, four weeks okay. of their training. Because if they're in there with the tra trainer for, you know, two, three weeks and, and they're feeling confident about them after they've already been through school three weeks, then um, the trainee, uh, the student, the trainee gets paid for whatever miles the trainer will run too. Okay. So the trainees are actually making really good money if they do it that way. Okay, okay. So are, are they, well, while we're on the subject of, of teams, uh, do you guys have team opportunities there? Regularly, yeah. no. Oh, okay. Because we just don't, we don't go coast to coast, so we don't have those miles for teams to run. Mm -hmm. So we, we try to you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife type of thing where they're more like a super solo. Okay. Um, but even even the husband and wife gets tired of each other after a while, so Yeah. I mean it's, it's not a good idea. All right. What's Mostly the company solo drivers? All right, so what's the what's the starting CPM for experienced drivers? Uh, with how much experience? Uh let's use me for an example. So I got three. You got three? Yes. Um, on per diem, which is the one with the bigger performance bonus that's paid weekly, mm -hmm. that one also has paid vacation, and vacation is one week after six months and two weeks after 12 months. So if you don't use that first week in your second six months, you actually have three weeks of paid vacation after your first year. Okay. So three would start you out at 42 cents, which is lower than straight pay, but 10 cents of every mile is not taxed. So your net income that you take home is pretty close to the same as a straight pay anyways. Okay. And that one has the performance bonus where you can make three, seven, or eight cents more. So we'll just take the middle, we'll take the 2,400. So that would be seven cents more. So that would give you 49 cents per mile with 10 cents of every mile not being taxed. Okay. And then that one, that's also got the sign on bonus. All right, but the and base, bo both but of these Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. They, both of these, both of these plans, per diem and straight pay, have safety bonus. It's quarterly one cent and annual one cent. That's not different between the two pay plans. So now with three cents more, or I'm sorry, with OTR straight pay at three years or more, it's forty nine cents. So you see where you come up with that per diem, the forty two plus the seven is forty nine. Mm -hmm. You start out at forty nine cents, but everything's taxable. Oh, okay. Okay. So. So your net take home is probably going to be a little bit less, but that one has a weekly paid performance bonus. It's not as good as the per diem one because it only goes three and four cents. Mm -hmm. So at twenty four hundred, where you're getting seven cents on the per diem side, you're only getting three on the straight side. Okay. And then okay. if you do three thousand plus, you get four cents. Or on the per diem, if you do three thousand plus, you get eight cents. Is the uh, is the pay straight mile? Uh, is it paid for straight miles or? Hang on, I gotta take a drink. Oh, okay, take your time. Take your time. Ask your question. Uh, 
is the uh, base pace straight miles or is there a sliding scale? No, it's just straight. Straight miles. Both of them. The, All right. The, yeah, both of them are per diem and, and straight pay are both how's the, just base pay. How's the miles calculated? Um, not that worst one, but the better one. Does that make sense? It's not hub miles, but it's not it's not the other one either. It's not the bad one. Uh, you already mentioned about holidays, uh, vacations. What? Well, you mentioned vacation. What about holiday pay? Okay, we've been talking for a half hour. Ask your next question. All right, uh, holiday pay. Um, do you guys offer oh, that? Well, that's, you're going to stump me on that. Yes, but I can't remember which one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think it's the per diem. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I, I'll speed it up. I only got a few more. A uh, few more. That's about it. Um, do you guys require a hazmat? All no right. quick card, no hazmat, no passport. We're all dry van. Uh, our major loads are beer, paper, and glass. Beer, paper, and glass. Um, but we do have other things that we haul, of you know, lever products, smucker products, but um, it's all non-perishables pretty much. Okay. Uh, what benefits do you guys offer? Everything. Health, dental, vision. 401k uh, HSA program. Well, now it's going to be, they're just switching it, so it's an FSA program, whatever that health ca cafeteria plan thing is. Um, and then they offer, you can buy additional uh, short term disability, long term dis disability, life insurance. They do cover, uh, I think it's 10000 on each driver. Okay. For life, actually, for each employee, because I'm on it too. So, okay. Uh, for not for life insurance, that's term. What's the uh, what's the ballpark? Yeah, you have to stay with us. Uh, okay. What's the ballpark on how much a driver pay a a, a week for the uh, benefits for a single single um, single single guy? Yeah. Um, make it easy. Same as what I do. So it's fifty dollars for health, it's uh, two dollars for dental, and one dollar for vision. Okay. And then if it's thing, if it's husband and wife, then it's Sixty dollars, <clears throat> but now that's changing. And as of March first, we're getting a new policy thing, so I'm not sure exactly what the the single plus dependence is anymore. Okay, what's, we'll find out here in the next couple of weeks. What's your home time policy? Um, OTR is twelve days out, home every other weekend, full weekend, not just thirty four hour restart. Plus, that's what you want to do. Um, some of the guys do 14 days, take three days off. Some of the guys like to do 21 days and take four days off. Okay. Uh, pet and rider policy? Yep, yep. Check, check. All right. Uh, oh, go ahead. Pet, pets have to be um, under, uh, or 55 pounds or under. Um, they There's a $300 non-refundable pet policy deposit. Okay. And they have to be updated on all their shots. Okay. Uh, is there forced dispatch to NYC or California? Well, we don't go to California. Okay. What about what about? So that's me. <laughs> what no, about? Not 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 New, not New York or the boroughs. Okay. Okay. Uh, we don't go up into Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, so you don't have to worry about the goat roads. Oh, okay. We have very little freight that goes down into Florida, so you don't have to worry about getting out of that state. Okay. Okay. What about uh now? What about leasing? Do you guys offer that? No. Uh huh. Okay. It's all company trucks, company drivers. All right. Uh, what equipment do you guys have? Uh, what what do you guys offer as far as equipment goes? There's, there's the OTR trucks are all the T680, 72 inch condo sleepers, double bunk. They are, have built-in refrigerator. They have 1800 watt inverter. They have uh, flat screen TVs. They have cable satellite with Showtime and NFL, and they have Sirius Radio, just the basic. Is they uh is there both autos or ten speeds or you are all automatic They're fleet? They're pretty much all, pretty much all automatics now. Automatic fleets. All right, you already went over the amenities inside of the trucks, and that sounds good. What about uh, what about the all intrusive driver cam? Uh, we have outside and inside facing. Uh, the experienced drivers that come in, they have their option of the inside facing being turned off. They do? But if there's a, 
Yep, but if there is an incident or an accident, safety does just reserve the okay. right to switch them back on. Okay, okay, okay. Or I, I don't know what the period of days is, 30, 60, 90, something like that. Now, you know what? That's that's interesting that you said that, that they got the, that they got the uh, option to choose. Now I think that's a good thing that to give uh, the to give the driver the opportunity to choose whether or not to have the inside camera on. Yep, and I, I, actually, when we decided to shut them off because they were um, mandatory before, um, a lot of our drivers said, "No, leave it on. It doesn't bother me." Okay. All right. So, uh, what's the trust governing that? Set for, trucks are set at seventy. I'm, I'm still thinking you're a recruiter for somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm a, I'm a driver. I'm a driver. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, for experienced drivers, they're 70. Uh, our students are set at 62 or 63, I think. Okay. Okay. Well, what's your name? I, I, did I mention it? Did I? I know you said your name. I don't know. Yours is Sean. I know, right? You know, I never, I'm not good with names. <laughs> That's okay. My name is Peggy. Peggy. Well, thank you very Peggy. much. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say Peggy spelled with an I. Oh, okay. Peggy. But not Peggy, but Peggy. Peggy. Well, thank you very much, man, for taking the time to, to, to tell me a little bit about Miller's transfer. Uh, well, I, I re- tell your friends they can call us anytime. I really do. I really do appreciate it. What would be the number one reason to drive, come and drive for Millis transfer? What What would be the number one reason? To because uh, we on? love our drivers and they love us. All right. Well, all right, ma'am. All right. That would well, be the number one. There's plenty of other ones. Well, all right, ma'am. Well, like I said, my name my name is Sean. You know, I I am. Yeah, I I am I am a driver I am a driver recruiter I am currently with a company that I that I enjoy uh, driving for, but I do have a I do have a Facebook page uh, that you know a lot of drivers are in there and we talk shop with you know about companies. I have a YouTube page okay. as well. No, I sound I sound terrible at being recorded though. <laughs> I sound like a guy on your thing. I yeah, can, you can go ahead. I don't care. Okay, fine. Thank you very much, ma'am, and I really do appreciate that. Um, I will. Yeah, have def- you ever seen Red Red Viking out there? Uh, Red Viking Trucker. I yeah. Well, I'm not a. Well, to be totally honest, <laughs> like I said, he's a good guy. I mean, he's. I I never met him personally, but I mean, he's a. He's. You know, he's a good guy. He got good content. He interviews a lot of drivers. So, but like I said, the only the only thing that rubbed me the wrong way with him is, you know, the charging of the of the coaching call. But hey, hey, that's that's a hustle. That's a hustle. I, I, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna steal low on this hustle. I mean, that's 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 his hustle. So. <laughs> But right. Pe- but Peggy, well, thank I you very have much. Some other things I gotta get yes. done. You're welcome, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, again, and you can check out. Decide- you can check out my Go YouTube. Ahead. You can check out my YouTube page, which is Lockout Men. What is it? It's Lockout Men. What is it? Lockout Men. Walk. Uh, L- Lockout. Like no. walk. No. L O C K O U T M E N. Lockout Men. M E N is in. Men, yes. Lockout men. men, yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And uh, just that, uh, just type that. The Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook page is the Facebook page is Lockout Men makes the call. Wow, I gotta admit, I gotta admit that was a good, good, good call. That was a good call. Good information. Millis transfer. Who knew? Who knew Millis transfer? Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Patty, for taking the time to give us the information that we need. Um, if you guys are interested in Millis transfer, yo, give her a call. The information will be in the description below. So, this is a subscriber call. So I hope this information is what you're looking for. Still, Millis is doing it right, though. They doing it right. They doing it right. So. What you guys think of the call? You know what I'm saying? If you guys have any 
questions that you want me to ask these recruiters, I will write them down. I just, I, I she, she touched on the key point that I'm going to write down for now on. I will ask them for you. Do you have any suggestions for a call? I make that suggestion and I will make that happen for you. All right. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. The princess of Dissy Hill. Thank you for that awesome, awesome, awesome suggestion to call Millis Transfer. So I hope you got the information you was looking for. Look, check it out. I'm dead serious, man. Go check out their website. See what they got to offer. And by golly gee, see if they'll work for you. All right? Lockout men. One time. Yo, tell me. Who's next? Editing go, go. Editing, editing, editing.